You know, I think there's only one word that can adequately describe my old bathroom. Hideous. I wanted to give my master bath a fresh new look without totally remodeling it. So I covered up the tired old wallpaper and gave it a nice textured faux paint job. But after looking around the bathroom, I realized that it needed a lot more than just a little paint on the wall. I still had the same brassy gold fixtures that were here when I bought this place 20 years ago. So my bathroom was completely out of date and out of style. So I headed over to Home Depot to find some fixtures that were more my style and from this decade. This elegant bronze patina vanity light was definitely my style, and I used it to set the tone for the rest of the bathroom. Quite a big change from those old polished brass globe lights. I asked my cousin who's an electrician to install it for me. To complement the dark tones in the light fixture, I framed the entire mirror with molding. I measured the width and the height of the mirror and cut four pieces of crown molding at a 45 degree angle on each end. I painted the pieces a dark brown and glued them to the wall and overlapping the mirror with a wall mirror adhesive. I was also able to find the perfect faucet to match. The sleek modern lines in this dark bronze fixture is a really nice contrast against the white sink and countertop. I installed these myself. I got rid of my brass knobs and replaced them with bronze and crystal hardware. And I added a few lines of rough dark paint around the drawers and doors to give my cabinets an antique look. To get rid of the brass colored shower, I primed and painted over the whole thing with a dark satin brown. And finally I replaced all the brass doorknobs. Now it's time for decorating. I got this beautiful vase from Pier 1 Imports and I'm using it as a centerpiece on my bathroom counter. So I want my decor to go along with this same ancient bronze look. I took a trip to Goodwill and found a few pieces that I thought might work with the look and feel that I was trying to achieve in the bathroom. And I painted a few pieces to match the color scheme. So right in the center of the counter I placed my Pure One face, overflowing with silk hydrangea and lavender. The silk flowers are a combination of Michaels and a little Dollar Tree. The Pier 1 vase inspired me to make my own ancient bronze pieces. These pieces were made from a few glass pieces I put together from Goodwill. Click here to learn how you can make these for yourself. I found a couple of beautiful, exotic, hand-painted gold gilt plates at Goodwill. I saw one like this on eBay for $35, but I got these for a great deal at $2 each. I'm placing one on each end of the counter to hold my bronze basket filled with my lotions and perfumes, and this bronze bowl filled with my husband's cologne. For a little more storage, I added this $17 bookshelf. To give it a custom look, I cut two pieces of crown molding and glued it to the top and bottom of the shelf. And then I painted the whole shelf a dark chocolate brown. I'm using the different pieces that I got from Goodwill to hold extra soap, bath crystals, bath salts, toiletries, towels, bath scents, and candles. This way we'll have some of the items that we use the most handy and on display. 
Around my tub, I placed another bronze candle stand that I made and baskets with spa goodies. I dressed my big picture window with silky white curtains and a dark bamboo shade. And to keep everything neat inside my drawers and cabinets, I used these compartment drawer organizer trays. You can get these for a few dollars at Target. Containers are always the best way to keep everything looking neat and organized. You can turn just about anything into a container, so I like to use unique or pretty pieces. I'm using this square wicker box as a vanity seat, but it also hides my waste paper basket. So with just a few changes and without having to completely tear down my master bath, I was able to go from outdated and ugly to my very own exotic, rich, luxurious spa.